about 11.30, we are tracking wildfires. The largest one right now in Utah County is the Pole Creek Fire. It continues to grow in size and is forcing hundreds of people to evacuate. News for Utah's Brittany Johnson is at Salem Hills High School where those evacuees are seeking shelter. So Brittany, what's the latest information? Well, Brian, the latest information here is that this fire is burning 54,000 acres at least, and it's only 2% contained. And before we get to more uh, logistics of this fire, I do want to pass along some very important information here about evacuations and road closures. Now, let's start with these mandatory evacuations because they are in place for all homes from Nebo Creek to the Thistle Junction. Now, Covered Bridge Canyon Community and Woodland, he Woodland Hills and Elk Ridge are all under mandatory evacuations as well, and portions of Spanish Fork City are under pre-evacuation notice. Now for road closures, the ones that are in place are for Santa Quinn Canyon and Payson Canyon, Nebo Loop Road from SR-132 and Nephi Canyon, Highway 89 and Spanish Fork Canyon is closed from the Thistle Junction to the Utah San Pete County line. Now the fire is also affecting mail delivery, so listen up. Those evacuated in the Elk Ridge and Payson areas can pick up their mail at the Payson Post Office. Those evacuated in the Woodland Hills area can pick up mail at the Salem Post Office. Everyone, just make sure you bring your photo ID. Now, as for the fire itself, there are about 300 firefighters battling the blaze on the ground with more expected to come later today. There's also air support that's being used this morning and will be in effect until it is too windy to fly. Fire officials are expecting winds to top 30 miles per hour this afternoon. And I'm being told a big area of focus today will be in Payson Canyon and in those areas under mandatory evacuations. Now we will have crews here all day covering this fire and you can find the very latest information here on air and online at goodforutah.com. I also want to pass along that Sarah Martin is covering um, stories with the American Red Cross. If you guys want to help out these fire victims, she's going to have more on that and how you can do so. Again, that's coming up on the news at four, five and six. But for now reporting in Utah County, I'm Brittany Johnson, News 4 Utah.